Hi guys, this is Deepak and in this quick video, I'll talk about Azure Blueprint, which is part of Azure Governance. Now, um, Azure Blueprint is like your blueprint. You can define it for your subscription and this blueprint could have a bunch of artifacts. The artifacts could be a role based access permission, a policy which can restrict maybe some VMs which cannot be deployed in your subscription or maybe you don't want to allow VMs deploying without a managed disk or maybe you want to deploy a configurations like VM storage those could be there in the ARM template as well as you can also deploy resource group now you create these artifacts and these artifacts can be saved in a blueprint now this blueprint and then further you can assign it to one or multiple Azure subscription now you can have multiple Azure blueprints which are basically your you know governance for your organizations and you deploy it in your environment and you repeat it if a new subscription is created use you reuse these blueprints and deploy it in new subscriptions as well or you could have different blueprints for different subscriptions maybe dev and test you have a separate set of blueprints maybe for production environment you have a separate set of blueprints now let's have a look at how does blueprint look like and how do we configure in Azure portal. Now here in this example, I have already logged in and I've already selected Azure blueprint and I will define the blueprints definition. Now this is the first step we need to do. We need to create a blueprint. I already have a blueprint, but I will start or create a new blueprint from the scratch. So I'll give it a name blueprint one and I will save it in a management group. Now blueprints as of now can only be saved in management group and if you don't know what management group is you can watch my another video where I've talked about Azure management groups. So I will configure this blueprint because I've given a name to it and now I will add artifacts. Now I will add artifacts like maybe creation of a resource group and I'm going to create a new resource group, which is going to be RG1. And I can repeat this continuously and I can add more and more resource groups as well. Now I'm going to add more artifacts, which are going to be part of this resource group. Now let's take an example. I'm going to add a policy assignment. Now what I'm going to do is maybe I will restrict the location for the VMs. So maybe I will say allowed locations. Now within this resource group, I can say maybe, you know, uh, there is only VMs or any resources which can only be deployed in a specific location. So I can define it during the runtime or the deployment time, or maybe I can define it right now. So maybe I'll define it right now. And this is more like a JSON array. So I need to write it like a JSON template. Now I'm gonna define it here and then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add more artifacts. Now what I'm doing now is I'm assigning a role. So what I'm saying is there has to be a reader and that reader has to be a help desk admin. So I have a user with the name help desk. Now this help desk user is part of my Azure Active Directory and this would become a read only administrator to this resource group. Now you could see I've defined my policies. I have created my resource group. I have defined my help desk as an admin. Now if I want, I can add more artifacts. Now the artifact could be the Azure resource manager template which means I can now even create resources. So create storage and I can browse my template or what I've done is I have a template copied so I can simply paste it. Or maybe I could, I could use a JSON template. I will add. Now what this template is going to do, it's going to create a storage within this resource group. So I'm going to save this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this blueprint. Now, once the blueprint is created, so you would see it would be in a draft stage 
and I can simply select it and then I can publish it. Now when I publish I need to give a version number. Now this version is quite important because if I'm editing this blueprint and let's say I add more artifacts I can change it to version 2 or 3 or 4 like that. I will say publish now you could see my blueprint is ready and I can simply assign this blueprint. Now blueprint as of now can only be assigned to a subscription so I've got a couple of Azure subscriptions and I will pick one of my subscription where I'll assign this blueprint. So I'm gonna select my Visual Studio subscription and I'm gonna give an assignment name and I'm just gonna keep it in East Asia and I can even define whether I want to use template one or if I had multiple versions of template I could pick and choose. Now I can lock this assignment which means the resources will be locked or I will leave it as don't lock. So this is how it looks like I don't want to make any changes and I'm going to assign this blueprint to my subscription. Now this is gonna take a couple of uh, seconds or maybe minute because I'm deploying a resource which is a storage account. Now if you look at my resource group you could see I don't have any resources as of now and if I show you my role-based access permission just to prove I'm not cheating I don't have any reader with the name help desk in this subscription which means there is no person who will be inherited into my resource group which means that would be assigned by my blueprint. So I'll go back and I'm gonna refresh and it's just gonna take a few seconds as I said. Now what I can also do is I can look at the status of my blueprint deployment. So I'll go on assigned blueprints. I will select that and you could see it showing as deploying if I select the blueprint one. Now it shows Yes, it has created a resource group. It, it has also signed the help desk user on this resource group. And it has also deployed the policy. And now I think it's deploying the um, storage as well. So if we just go back and refresh, yes, we could see a resource group is created. And if we look at this resource group, and if I look at here, even my storage is also created. And if I look at my access control, now I should be able to see a help desk user in my uh, role-based access control as a reader. And here you go. So you could see the help desk is added and now this is all defined. Now, if I want, I can further go ahead and update my blueprint. So maybe if I want to add more artifacts, I can simply go back, maybe go in a blueprint definition, and I'll select this blueprint and I can edit this blueprint and I can add more artifacts. Now just think about if you have a you know company environment you've got multiple subscriptions and if you have like new subscriptions which are gonna get deployed you can simply choose this blueprint and apply it to the new subscription and you would have all of your you know policies you know compliances governance everything will get deployed Onto that subscription. Now just mind it as of now this blueprint is in preview and it can only be assigned to a subscription. Hopefully in future you might be able to assign it on a resource group level as well. So this concludes the demo. Thank you. Bye.